Everybody, let's look at how to create a sales by customer summary report. Okay, so the first thing is we can head over to customers and on the customers tab, we can see that we've got 14 invoices outstanding here. All right, and so how do we kind of get these customers in a nice report? So first step is, plus all the other ones that are that have been paid. First up, we're going to go to reports. And then we'll just either type the word sales in the search bar. And we've got sales by customer summary. And that's the report we're looking for. I like this report. It's pretty nice to do that. OK, so take a look at when you land on the sales by customer summary report. Uh, the first thing we got to do is we got to take a look at what's the date range you're looking for. So I'll change this to this year to date and then hit run report. Okay. If I'm looking to kind of change the order, maybe largest to smallest, I can go over to the sort button here and click total in descending order. And that's a nice uh, report here that kind of ranks them numerically instead of alphabetically. The other major thing that we can do here is we can split things up and maybe break it up into monthly data. I like to come here and select months and then run report. This will re be really helpful to see patterns and you can just kind of get an idea of how that how things are going here, okay? Um, now, a huge important note here is this is accrual. So that means that we are going to be seeing all invoices or sales receipts that have been created. The cash basis is going to change up drastically. If I click cash, it's going to hide and omit invoices that haven't been paid yet. OK, so cash, run report. Notice we're at 171. OK. Accrual, click Run Report. Notice it changed to 182K there. So super important here to know which style report you have here. Now, when you print this report, you know when you go into the print mode, you're going to see in the lower right hand corner accrual basis or cash basis, however you print that. And so uh, be aware of that. Okay. All right. Um, if you click somewhere in the header, you can do some other options like showing the logo, changing the title of this. You might want to put, just so it's easier for your audience to see, accrual right there. And, you know, when, that, when that's happening here, it's sometimes a little bit easier to see that than looking down in the footnotes, basically. Other things you might want to do, uh, let's say that I'd like to click Customize. And we can take a quick look at doing the final output of how you'd like it to be here. There, there are opportunities to filter out. So if there is a, circum, a circumstance where you wanted to see any of particular customer, you can filter a customer, any particular product, location, if you have it enabled, classes, if you have those enabled, different payment methods. That's interesting, you know, if you wanted to see your payment methods, sales rep and all that. Okay. And then on the header, we, we have the ability to show different elements in the header and then different elements in the footer here. All right. If you like this report and you want to save it so it's easily available in the future, you just hit Save Customization. OK. Um, right now, if you leave it as loan, it's only going to be on your profile. But if you wanted to share it with your team, you could click on All. And that's going to get shared to anybody who has admin access to this report here on your team. We hit Save. Awesome. OK, so now we'll find that report by going to Reports, Custom Report. And here it is right there. Click on that. 
and we've got it ready to go. Now, and the next time I run it, what's cool is this is dynamic. This year to date literally is this year to date. So if I run this later in the month, it will give me a future date to that date. Awesome. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and how easy it is to run sales reports by customers. One little thing that why something won't show up here, if you're in the bank feeds and you add a bank deposit, if, if for whatever reason you go down and do a bank deposit and you, you know, if I were to say on Eagle's wings, I guess they're at their event, or let's just go with one for one LLC. If I come in here and do, do like sales, this is not the right way of doing it. Okay, so if there's a $5,000 check that, that they paid here, this 5,000 is not going to get recorded in that sales report. And the only way that it would show up is if you have an invoice with a received payment, cruel versus cash, or sales receipt. So that report I shared with you only is going to populate based off of invoicing that's created. You just create a regular bank deposit like this, not going to populate. It has to be uh, create invoice or sales receipt. Okay, so just be very mindful of that. So I'm not going to save this at all. I just want to po populate that and, and um, mention that right, right here just to make sure in case you're running a report, this sales report, and you're noticing that the numbers look a little bit less than they should, just double check to make sure that you do have those, those invoices and sales receipts uh, created. All right. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.